Petersburg itself. Published by Petersburg Solution. Petersburg is a jewel located in the heart of central Virginia and positioned on the Appomattox River. Petersburg has a population of around 32,000 and is considered the hub for the Tri-Cities area. Petersburg is the largest of the three cities that compose the Tri-Cities. Hopewell and Colonial Heights are the other two cities but Prince George, Dinwiddie, Fort Lee and the southern tip of Chesterfield, mainly Ettrick and Matoica, are also included in the Tri-Cities area. It is also the hub for three major highways. It is where I-95, I-85 and US-460 intersect. In matter of fact, to add more to its distinction as a hub, the town grew around being a hub for trade in the 17th century and a hub for railroads in the 19th century. The actual beginnings of Petersburg started with Colonel Abraham Wood, who was an English explorer back in the 1600s. Colonel Wood would send expeditions across the Virginia wilderness. One of those expeditions brought him to a point on the Appomattox River. There, Colonel Woods's son-in-law established a trading post. That man's name was Peter Jones and that spot became known as Peter's Point. In a generation or two, a town began to sprout around Peter's Point. It was in 1733, that town was given a new name by Colonel William Byrd II. Colonel Byrd is credited as being the founder of Richmond, Virginia's current capital city. He gave the name, Petersburg, to the town. The General Assembly finally incorporated the town as, Petersburg, on December 17, 1748. The neighboring town of Blandford was incorporated on the same day. Blandford will eventually be annexed by Petersburg many years later. During the 18 and 19th centuries, Petersburg will continue to grow in prominence being one of the leading cities of the American South. As said before, it was the site of a major railroad hub. It was in Petersburg that many travelers would stop to transfer on another train to get to their final destinations. In that era as well, the town was full of innovation. It had paved streets by 1813. In the 1850s, Petersburg had introduced gas lights and instituted its own municipal water system. Since it was a part of the American South, sadly, most black Petersburgers were enslaved. There were large plantations in the surrounding counties as well. However, Petersburg had a significant population of free blacks, many of whom worked as tradesmen. For example, Isaac Jefferson had originally been a slave of President Thomas Jefferson. After he was manumitted, he relocated to Petersburg and earned his livelihood as a blacksmith. On the northern edge of the city is Pocahontas Island. It is recognized as being the oldest Afro-American community in the country. It has been a home for black Petersburgers for over two centuries. Adding more to the Black Petersburg story, First Baptist and Guilfield Baptist churches are also recognized as two of the oldest Afro-American congregations in the United States. Like the rest of the South, Petersburg fought on the side of the Confederacy and because Petersburg had a strategic point in the defense of Richmond, it was a major target for General Grant and his Army of the Potomac. For that reason, Union troops besieged the city. This was the longest siege in military history lasting for 292 days. Once Petersburg was captured, everyone knew that it would not be long until Richmond and the Confederacy will fall along with it. After the Civil War, Petersburg became Virginia headquarters for racial equality. With the help of William Mahone, leader of the Readjuster Party and head of the state political apparatus, a college to educate black students were established in Ettrick. That college, which is now Virginia State University, still stands today and is one of the nation's foremost HBCUs. That college's first president, John Mercer Langston, became the first black person to be elected to Congress from Virginia. Onward to the 20th century, Petersburg became an industrial center with factories such as Brown and Williamson, Arnold Penn Company and many others. During the 50s and 60s, Petersburg played an instrumental role for the civil rights movement. There are much more parts to the story of Petersburg, Virginia, past and present, and that is why Petersburger.net has been created to reveal the story. We welcome you to visit and give us feedback on what you see on our website. Copyright Copyright All Rights Reserved